Hello and welcome to White Horse Music TV! My name is Richard Badina and I'm co-owner of this wonderful shop with my lovely wife Michelle Badina, who's not here today unfortunately. Um, so today I'm going to be showing you a violin by Narlin and Gibbertoni, two extremely skilled violin makers who have been working in collaboration since 2016 and they make the most beautiful violins. This is an incredible copy of the Huberman Stradivarius. And if you were to look up the Huberman Stradivarius on the internet, have a look at the actual picture of it, you would see that it looks exactly like this. Um, so they've respectfully antiqued and scratched every little part of this violin to make it look like the Huberman Strad. And it's just, uh, it's actually my favorite violin that I've ever looked at, I think, as far as the looks go. It's just so beautiful. Um, I love antiqued violins. And they have won awards, several awards, in, um, in Italy for um, violins, for the antiqued section of the violin making competitions and they have won awards for tone as well. They, in fact, had won so many awards that I can't even be bothered telling you about them all. So I'm going to put them in the uh, information on the YouTube thing to me bubble. So beautiful violin. Um, so when I was planning our giant trip to Italy, I, um, I was planning to go to the big Cremona show and then I was planning on traveling um, down to the bottom of Italy and up the up the coast and visiting the different workshops along the way. And I actually at the last minute decided I'd seen pictures of Narlins and Gilbert Gibbertoni's violins and I'd heard about them winning all of those awards and that sort of thing. And so I thought, oh, I have to stop at Milan. That's where their workshop is. So there you go. Um, I, I think, um, so... Gibbertoni, he studied at the prestigious violin making um, school in Milan um, and I think he graduated in 1991 so that's a, a fair while ago and then he's worked all over the world making violins. He's worked in um, the UK and he's worked in America and Italy of course um, and just is a really well respected violin maker. Um, and uh, Narlin, he actually went to the same school of violin making. Uh, and um, I think Gibber Tony met Narlin at that same school of violin making when uh, Gibber Tony, years and years later, came back to teach at the school. And he uh, met uh, Narlin, who was a, an amazing student, and he decided, let's start this collaboration, and it's continued to this day. So I visited their workshop in Milan and it was an amazing workshop and they just go into such detail and it's so particular. And I ended up ordering one of their cellos because their instruments are so sought after. I'm going to have to wait three years for that cello. But I'm planning ahead. I'm very excited about it. So you all want to hear the sound of this violin and I'm going to do you the pleasure of playing it for you. depth. It's not super explosive like the, um, the Alberto Biasin violin that I did or the um, Ted Screco violin that I did the review for before, um, but it's sort of like rich and beautiful and it's a very sweet sounding violin I would say. Now I'm going to try playing up the top as well.
it's really easy to play up there actually. It's, the response is really, really beautiful. And it's a really all round beautiful violin, but I wouldn't say it's super, super powerful. <laughs> It's got a good amount of power. It's just, I've just played the Screco violin and the Biosyn violin, which are like super canon violins that um, you have to put on earplugs to play with. But that is one of the most beautiful looking violin, the most beautiful looking violin I've ever seen. And one of the most beautiful violins I've played. Valerio Narlin and uh, Gibertoni, they get the thumbs up, that's for sure. Bye.